Hey, 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 welcome back to the channel. It's your man Prime Time, and you already know you're on Prime Time Talk TV. And yeah, I'm back at you with another good video. And you already know the routine once you enter my house wipe your feet off, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop these next latest and greatest videos like these. For Prime Time. To this day. Oh, man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Man, oh man, boy, how about your boy Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul. That press conference was woo woo. Hey, finally, Mike Tyson turned up. That's what I'm talking about. You know, he ain't turned up like, you know, like the crazy deranged back in the day, but he turned up grown man iron mike tyson style and i'ma tell you right now friends prime time family around the world we got us a fight <laughs> we got us a fight now you know what i mean because people been chiming in around the world saying that they want to tune in that they want to see this fight mike gonna get killed this is scripted, it's fake, it's an exhibition, you know. But Mike Tyson has done everything to let everybody know that though they are cool friends or whatever, when he get in that ring, he gonna try and knock his head off. You know what I mean? And you know, I had heard, you know, all of that, you know, but this last presser they did, mm, mm. Oh yeah, Mike Tyson cooked him because you know people in the crowd were heckling Mike. You know, saying he gonna knock you out. He said, "Oh yeah, oh all right, all right." Who is he knocked out? He he couldn't even knock out Nate Diaz. He forty pounds. He held up his pinky finger. <laughs> Cold blooded. Mm. Jake Paul sitting over there looking a little. Stale, like a stale pretzel that fell in the back of the car seat and been sitting there for about six months. But anyway, I, I digress. Mike Tyson also said, who else he fucked? He said, Anderson Silver. He said, he can't even knock out the skinny, the skinny guy, so he's supposed to knock me out? Oh, man. Cold blood. Now that was cold blooded for real life. He basically named two of the smallest dudes that Jake Paul fought and he couldn't even knock them out. <laughs> Boy, now that was some entertaining stuff for Mike Tyson now. I'ma tell you like, for real, for real, I'm like, oh my God. Yo, like, it really, he really went in on Jake Paul a little bit. And I think, you know, July 20th, that's going to make Jake Paul go even harder. But that's going to make Mike Tyson go even harder, for real. Because, you know, truly and honestly, you know, even though Mike Tyson is of age, this is Jake Paul's hardest match of his life and i'm gonna tell you like this he ain't gonna antagonize mike too much before that war god that's inside of mike tyson actually gets unlocked and i truly do believe if they get in that ring and jake paul hit mike a certain kind of way Mike might actually unlock some treasure chest of stuff that he done held deep down in his soul and buried with all of the other evil thoughts that he said that he won't gonna never release again because he did the frog, the toad, whatever that stuff is, and the mushroom. But when Mike get hit by Jake Paul and he actually feels the... The rhythm of the night. When he feel that dad on shot like that, that right there might wake up something in Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson might 
go deep down in the depths of his soul and pull a punch out and knock Jake Paul out of his shoes like a video game uppercut style from Mike Tyson punch out from back in the retro days and hey it could go that way or <laughs> or Jake Paul could shock the world he could do it he could possibly shock the world and clip Mike Tyson and uh, I, I, no, I, I don't even want to imagine that. What I do want to imagine is, is either Mike Tyson wins by KO or either it's a draw, yo. Period. Uh, you know, that's all I look for. You know, maybe maybe they'll punch themselves out and, and you know, and we'll see two guys slugging it out to survive and just a well entertained fight versus you know someone going night night that you know that's just me but um july 20th y'all you know <laughs> it's going down in texas but uh yeah this is definitely gonna be a very very good match um i think it's gonna be more entertaining than good but hey you know, can't discount boxing by no chance. It's just two fists, you know, going at it, you know, back and forth. So we'll see who has what it takes. We'll see if Mike Tyson still has it. He, do he got one more in him, you know? And I, I truly hope after this he takes a longer hiatus, probably like for the next forever. But. I do hope that he succeeds in this. I hope he looks good. I hope he does not get hurt. I don't want either fighter to get hurt, as a matter of fact. You know, I want both fighters to come out, you know, uh, healthy and back to their families. But I do want to see a good, entertaining fight. I do want to see everybody get their money worth. I do want to see a competitive fight. I don't want to see no the glorified sparring match. I want to see a good rocket socket fight for real. I want that rock 'em sock 'em, boom, boom, bing, bong. Yeah, we need that war, you know. War, huh. good God, y'all. Good for, well, it's good for the boxing. <laughs> so I do want to see Mike Tyson and Jake Paul actually you know give us a good competitive fight for real for real um now after this you know what's after this you know i mean jake paul is doing it in a way to where no one ever anticipated seeing a boxer come up you know it's almost like an exhibition style amateur slash <laughs> sparring pay-per-view match you know if you really want to break it down you know it's like he's learning on the job pay-per-view style in front of the world you know and we're paying for it you know and it is entertaining i can't even deny it. it is truly entertaining seeing him come up and boxing and challenging himself and taking on different challenges taking on different opponents and competing at a high level in front of the world when a lot of people would not do it, you know? So, hey, you can hate, you can debate, and you can wait all you want to, but he is still relevant, he's still successful, he's still doing his thing, and um, hey, you can't take no away from it, you know? When people are doing things that we would only dream of doing, and you know we need to start congratulating and start a, you know instead of hating all the time so anyways that's all i got for this video you already know the routine when you leave my house hit that like button hit the subscribe button smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time i drop these next latest greatest videos here on primetime talk tv and i'm on social media everyone definitely go to the website primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch all right y'all peace love i'm out till next time it's prime time.